Hello everyone. Hello test takers. Good luck for your exam. In this video, I'm going to show you the computer-based exam example of a listening test, multiple choice question. So in this video, this this screen, this is what it's going to be look like when you take the test. So it's asking for our details, your name, your date of birth, and your candidate number. So this is the computer test. Let's begin. So if your details are correct, you just click this button here. Now in this, um, in this screen, you have to test your, micro uh, your headphones if it's um, doing all right. So you have to play the sound. You click this if, it's, if the headphones are good. So if you can hear the sound when you click this one, it's So it's saying us that there is a bar here on the top right corner where we can adjust the volume on the heads, headphones we are using. So we can adjust it low or high, whatever your preference is. So we will put that in the middle. And Please change the volume using the bar in the top right corner. Click continue when you hear the sound clearly. Please change the volume. So we change the volume of that one to the preference we want. And then if you can hear the sound clearly, you press continue. But if you can't, you will tell the invigilator. So since we can hear the sound, we press continue. Now, um, in this screen, you have your, um, I am the number, your um, um, candidate number on the, on the left hand, and on the right hand here is the volume of your headphone. So this is the instruction on the computer-based listening test. So this is uh, part one. So the time is 30 minutes for this t test. So we have to read the instructions carefully. And there are 40 questions in this test. So um, yeah, that's all the examples in that, um, in this section. So we are not supposed to, uh, to start the test until we are told to do so. So we will wait for the, uh, the instructor to say that we are allowed to start the, the test. So in this example, we will start the test. We will just pretend that we been told to do so. So we click start. And this is a sample listening, multiple choice, more than one answer. So we, we will be listening. And we have the time limit here on top. So that's saying what how many times and left. So in this um, test, we are going to be listening to a conversation and we will click as um, at the same time while listening to the conversation, we will be answering this um, question. So you just click what answer is the right answer. So you click if you want to change your answer, you can just click that one and it will go off and you change a different answer so it's asking three things so we have three um, things we clicked so we will check again the time limit we have so there's um, the time limit on top of this screen and in the bottom 
you have the review if you want to review that number you just click the number and click review so that will mean that that will give you a signal that you need to review that number so and you have to go back and have a look at that um, question so you can review that by clicking review and if you wanna unreview it you just click that and if you wanna go to question number two but the, in this case we don't have a question number two but it's all in one page so you just click that or number three and in this area here where the yellow is in the right um, le uh, right bottom corner we have this yellow arrow that means you can minimize the the pages like that so as you can see it's very little in the bottom so if you wanna show that back up again it's um, it's located in there and this arrow here there's two here so this is for previous question like if you wanna go question number one you press that one like, like as you can see here the the blue color will change to um, to question one as you can see and if you wanna go forward click that and you'll be on question two and if you click one more you're gonna be on question three so they also have the the help button here on top right corner if you click that it will um, it will show you um, the instruction and the tips on how to answer the question on how to the instructions on how to move the cursor to click the right answer so it says here click on the answer you think is right if you change your mind click on a different answer if you want to leave the question click on your answer again so all the instructions are there in the help button so it's really handy so to exit from that one you just click um, okay so that test has been ended so the time is up and this is the screen well that will come up at the end of the test so let's just pretend that that test we had are all the uh, the questions on the test so this will um, show up when you're finished so you don't have to change or to transfer your answers in the answer sheet same as the old paper based test in this one your your answers are all recorded and stored without being even transferred to the answer sheet so after that we will wait for further instructions in in this case we will be waiting for the next um, section of the IELTS test which is I suppose the reading um, test so this is how the reading sample tests look like on a computer-based exam on IELTS so let's begin in this area you will see a screen where it's asking for your name oh no it's actually your names already in there the date of birth the candidate number and then we will click this one my details are correct and see how it looks like next so we have here the um, candidate number on this um, right on the left section and the instruction for the academic reading so the time for this um, test is one hour and all the instructions are here there are 40 questions in each test and um, there is a time on top of the center on this screen when the time is nearly finished so we will click start the test so in this section this um, this is a multiple choice one answer question on a reading test so we have here on the top the time we have here the help section and the hide and also you can if you want to highlight some um, passage on the reading section you can just click on it and drag along like that and then you can right click and click highlight if you want to um, um, and handle, uh, remove the highlight you just click it again right click and press clear 
if you want to make a note on something you highlight and then right click and click notes and then you can type note on this section and then if you want to see the, um, the notes you have written you just click on the yellow box or the highlighted part and then the notes will come up and if you want to unhighlight that again just click all that and press X so just to click the X remove the note you can remove the note and also if you want to answer the questions you just uh, click on that one the question you want to choose if you want to change your answer just click a different one and if you want to proceed to the next question just click on the next question and the answers will come up um, choose your answer change your answer and the next question and the next question if you want to review or you want to uh, have a look again you just um, click review here on the left corner in the bottom part and then you click which number you want to review to come back and then next one and then next and then if you want to go back there you just click that answer the question and then unclick the review button and it will go back to its original shape so in this area we have the yellow arrow down which will make our um, numbers here um, minimize the numbers here and if you want to be make it bigger again just click the yellow arrow down and this one is for the next question the arrow down here on the right side next question if you want to proceed to the next question if you want to go back go back to number one if you can go to number two number three number four so that is for the reading academic reading reading multiple choice questions and how it looks like on a computer-based test in this section we are going to answer the academic reading multiple choice more than one answer so we have a passage here on the left corner the whole passage is here it's it's uh, usually longer than this but for this example we will just use this given passage so we have here questions one two three and four so if you want to choose an answer you can just click so it's asking for two correct answers so we can just click the square box if you want to change your answer you just unclick that one and choose a different one and if you want to proceed to the next question just click the question itself and then choose another answer if you want to change just unclick again and the same thing if you want to highlight something you just drag along and highlight and then right click and press highlight and if you want to make notes you can write notes here by right clicking your mouse and then if you want to see your notes you just you, you just click the notes and if you want to clear the highlight just type click clear all and that's about it for reading multiple choice more than one answer in answering questions um, which are um, true false not given the same thing we have a passage here on the left side and then the questions here on the right side so the same questions and you can highlight the same thing you can do if you wish to highlight something you just right click and click highlight if you want to make a note just right click and make a note and then right here right click 
if you wish to answer the questions you click the question and then make sure you read the instructions properly which is false true not given and you just click on the answer you want if you wish to change your answer just click the different answer if you wish to continue to the next question press the next question and the answers are there next question we also have the numbers here the question number one number two number three you can use any of these numbers to go to a different number or you can just click here and here and here and you can also use these arrows here to navigate the questions from one two and three so that is the reading questions identifying information true false not given academic reading questions not completion so in this area we have the passage here on the left you can scroll your um, this one here in the middle to read all the passages or you can go up and down and the questions here if you want to click that box just put the cursor there and write your answer here if you want to proceed to the next question just um, press ta tab key on your keyboard or you can just transfer your key cursor here or you can press tab again on the next one or you can choose these numbers here in the left corner if you want to proceed to question number four you click number four if you want to proceed to question number five proceed to question number five if you want to go back to question number four just press number four or you just click tab on the keyboard or you can use this arrow here to navigate to questions for three two one and you can write your answer in this area and also if you want to highlight something you just highlight that select that passage right click click highlight and if you want to make notes click note and make note here and then close and if you want to view that note again just click that there you can see where there's a note you can just click that one and if you want to unhighlight that just click clear or just highlight make a highlight or unhighlight click clear and that's pretty much it for reading test note completion there are some questions on IELTS computer base that looks like this it's the flowchart completion we are going to select the words from the text and we're gonna put here in the gap here where the the empty gap here we have here the time limit if how many how much times left we have here the help button the hide button and the volume we don't have the volume only on the listening so in here we have the passage in this area and we can move the passage up and down using this scroll area in the middle if you want to highlight some ideas you just write select the passage right click and highlight if you want to make a note just click note and write your note here if you want to go and have a look at that note you got just click the passage if you want to unhighlight it just select everything and you select the uh, every everything that you highlighted before and just um, uh, press clear clear all and then you just type your answer here when you um, decided what to put and then if you want to go to the next question just click tab on your keyboard or you can use these um, numbers here below 
to proceed to the next question or the arrows here on the left side. So keep an eye on the time left and be calm in answering the question. So this is how some of the questions look on a computer-based IELTS exam. Stay tuned again for my next video on writing computer-based sample and how it looks like on a computer-based exam. Thank you for watching. Good luck and goodbye.